Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing part one of two of my Toy Story themed nails. These are going to be made as press-ons. I do already have the base of the press-ons done. I am only going to be doing nail art for this video. Unfortunately, I did already do the first nail. I actually did not record doing any of Woody and I'm so upset with myself but I did not have any storage on my phone to record and I was just like, let me sit down and play around with nails and it turned out really good. So I did make enough room on my phone to record the rest of the design. Let's go ahead and get started with the middle fingernail. This is going to be Buzz Lightyear. I do already have his skin color mixed up. This is Bear It All and White Out from Nails by Dev. I did mix those two colors together to get a lighter skin tone and the pure Bear It All gel polish will be used for some shadows. The main brush that I'm going to be using is the Vita Bella Short Liner Brush. I really love this brush. It's very high quality and it's double-sided as well. I will have my discount code for Vita Bella on screen as well as down below in the description. So to get started with the nail art, I am just doing this over the cured second layer of gel polish color and I'm taking that lighter skin tone color that I mixed up to start drawing out his face. For all of these nail designs, I did not do any sketch or pre-outlines. I am just color blocking where I believe the colors should go, but if you are just starting out with characters, do make sure to start out with a sketch. That will definitely help you to know exactly where to place all of your colors. That can also help a lot with proportions, so if you do struggle with that, please do start with a sketch first. Sometimes I do the sketch and sometimes I don't, but I knew the set was going to take me a very long time, so I just decided to try and skip it. The best tips that I have for not using a sketch is to have a reference photo and try to make it exactly the same shape and size for all of the areas that you have to color block. If it's off even in the slightest, it can completely change how the nail art is going to look. Once I have the skin toned down, I did go ahead and cure that for about 30 seconds. Now I'm taking the pure color Bear It All from Nails by Dev and I'm using this to do a little bit of shadows on his face. I am not the best at shading characters. I am still currently learning how to do character nail art, so I might not be doing this exactly how you're supposed to, but I think it gives me a decent result. I am just going by my reference photo and trying to place the shadows as accurately as possible. Before I cure the shadows on his face, I am taking Nails by Dev's Slim Shady brush and I'm going to go ahead and start blending out the shading into his face. Ombreing with gel polish has always been the hardest thing for me whenever I do gel polish nails, but I do kind of feel like I'm starting to get the hang of how to blend out gel polishes. I am using this brush mostly dry. I mean, it's not really dry. It's kind of damp with rubbing alcohol. I am making sure to clean the brush in between some areas of the shading because I found if you don't clean it very often, you end up getting a lot of polish in the brush and that can cause you to place polish where you don't want it. So do make sure to clean the brush very often to avoid ruining your nail design. To blend out the shading, I'm just doing very light tapping motions and slightly dragging out the color just to try to ombre it as best as possible. After I have the shading how I want, I did go ahead and cure. Now I'm taking Nails by Dev's Honey Bun Gel Polish. This is a slightly darker brown color than Bear It All. I'm going to be using this to add some more shading and depth to his face. I've personally found that once you go to apply your gel top coat after doing all of the nail art, it kind of blends in the shading with the skin a little bit more than you'd expect. So I'm trying to add a little bit more contrast to my characters more recently, just to give them a little bit more depth. Once I have the second layer of shading done, I did go ahead and cure that layer. Now I'm taking the color Mocha Magic and I'm going to be drawing on his eyebrows. I usually love drawing eyebrows, but for this one, I just struggled a little bit with the second eyebrow. Part of me does wish that I would have mixed this color with a little bit of the brown or black shading gel just to make it a little bit darker. I say that because after looking at the finished nail design, it does look a little bit light for his actual eyebrow color. I'm also going to be using this color for the little swirly hair on his chin. Now taking my Vita Bella white gel paint. This is a very pigmented white polish that you can use for nail art. It's perfect for characters like this. I am using this gel paint on my liner brush and I'm going to go ahead and draw the base of his eyes. 
You can definitely use a dotting tool to get perfect circles, but for some reason the last few times that I've used a dotting tool, I just seem to kind of struggle with it a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but I felt like I would have a little bit more precision with this brush, so that is why I did end up using this one. I'm also going to be using this white gel paint for his teeth as well. At this point, I am just going to stop telling you guys every time I go to cure because that is going to be extremely repetitive. I am just curing in between each color. Now taking it Nails by Dove's Brown Shading Gel. This is like a transparent brownish color. I'm going to use this to color in the sides of his mouth. Now taking the color Be My Lover with a dotting tool, I'm going to go ahead and draw on his irises. I know I did just say that I've been struggling with a dotting tool, but there was no way I could do a dot that small with a brush. Now I'm taking the black gel paint from Vita Bella to draw on the pupils. This step is extremely important and you have to focus on this a lot to make sure that the pupils are lined up perfectly or your person is going to look cross-eyed. Now I'm taking the Vita Bella Just Purple Gel Polish Color. I'm going to be using this for the undersuit. I'm not sure what to call this. I definitely need to research this a little bit. Hopefully I'll put something up on screen. But basically this is just coloring in the rest of his head. And I'm also going to be dragging this color underneath his chin. Now I'm taking the color I Want Candy to start doing some details of his suit. This part is going to be underneath the dome that goes around his head. I'm so sorry, I don't know technical names for like an astronaut suit. I also want to go ahead and say now that the suit and body portion of Buzz gets very jumbled up and confusing to look at, but I'll try to explain everything as best as I can. I also mixed white out and lights out together to get a gray color, I actually mixed a few different shades of gray. This is going to be for the metal portion of his suit. This is kind of the part of the nail design that I got a little bit nervous because I didn't really think that I could do it as good as it is on the reference photo. Buzz Lightyear has so many small and intricate areas on his suit that I was so nervous I did not think that I could do this, but it did end up turning out really good which I am very happy about. Now I'm taking a slightly lighter shade of the gray that I mixed for the highlighted areas of the metal parts. All of these areas will be blended into the darker shade of gray using the Slim Shady brush. I want to tell you guys to avoid having hours and hours of footage to try to edit and condense down to a watchable video length. I did not record some steps of this nail art. I will try to tell you guys if I skipped a part during the recording process so you know exactly what I did off camera. And as usual, I want to apologize if any parts of my footage is out of focus. I was trying to focus on doing the nail art so hard that sometimes I forgot to see if I was in focus or not. I did blend out all of the lighter areas for the metal parts of his suit off camera. That again is just taking the Slim Shady to blend in the color with the darker shade of gray. Now I am going back with the color I Want Candy to finish out the green areas of his suit. This is the outermost part of his suit. On the back, there are two raised up areas and this is kind of like the backpack area that his wings pop out of. Honestly, I did think that these two things were very fun to draw out. Now I am moving on to the shoulder and front area of the suit. Now going back with the color Just Purple, I am going to do the circular piece on the side of his helmet. I will be taking the Vita Bella Just Red and Just Yellow for the next parts of his suit. Taking the yellow color, I am just doing a little horizontal line just under the metal piece. This is the area where his name Lightyear is placed. Underneath that, we have a big red button. On the other side of his chest, we do have three parallel buttons. I did mess this up because they are supposed to be vertical, not horizontal, and I did use different colors but I don't think it's that noticeable, so I think it's okay. Now going back with the Vita Bella white gel paint, I am going to go ahead and do the white areas of his suit. At this point is when I really felt like the design was coming together and I was starting to really like how this nail art was turning out. I want to go ahead and say basically the entire 
arm on the bottom of the nail looks very jumbled up and confusing. Looking at how the nail turned out, I really wish that I would have added a lot more contrast in this area, adding more shading or maybe a slight outline. I'm not exactly sure what it needed, probably just some more shading, but it does look a little bit jumbled up to me. I did also go ahead and add in the arm that is behind him. This does just kind of look like a bunch of colors just randomly placed together. Going back in with the grays that I mixed up for the metal part of his helmet, we're going to go ahead and draw on the shoulder piece and the elbow. At this point, I am just switching in between the gray, green, and white colors to finish out his arms. I did add a few things off camera to try to speed up the process of drawing out Buzz Lightyear because at this point it was taking a very long time. For his helmet, I am using the Nails by Dev White Out Gel Polish color and I don't really have much on my brush, which is giving me a white that is not extremely bold, which is exactly what I wanted for this part of the nail design. For his helmet, it is just two lines that go from the purple button on one side to the purple button on the other side, and also a really big circle that goes from the metal piece in the front to the metal piece in the back. I went ahead and added a small highlight to the front of the helmet. Now I am just finishing up with a few details on his arm. To finish off the nail design, I am using the Nails by Dev No Wipe Shiny Top Coat Gel and we're just applying this to the entire nail. As you guys may know, adding top coat to characters is my favorite part of the nail design because it really just brings the entire nail design together. And here is Buzz Lightyear. I really like how he turned out, even though it looks a little bit jumbled up in some areas to me. Let's go ahead and move on to the ring fingernail. For the ring fingernail, I am doing the little alien. This was the second easiest nail design that I'm doing for this hand of press-ons. There is a little bit of detail that goes into this, but it's pretty simple and easy to do compared to Buzz and Woody. I am just starting out with the alien's head, which is a oval that is laying horizontal. After I have the oval, I do drag up a little line in the center of his head for the antenna. You want to do a little dot at the top of this. After doing the antenna, I am moving over to the side of the oval for his ears. The aliens do have very long and pointy ears, which just reminds me of an elf, but they are very easy to draw. I am doing the other one as well. I am going ahead and drawing out his hands, which are both cut off by the side of the nail. And because of that, I wasn't really able to draw out much of the hand, so it's kind of just like a few lines at the side of the nail. <laughs> Taking just blue and Be My Lover, I mixed these two colors together to get a medium shade of blue. This color turned out so pretty, I just used this for his suit. I believe I forgot to film doing the rim of his suit, which is very simple, it's just a little line around his head. And for that, I did use the color Just Purple. I'm now using the color Just Blue by itself to add on his shoes. The line in between his legs, his belt, taking the color just purple, I'm going to add a ton of tiny little dots on the side of his chest. After curing that, I did take the color just yellow from Vita Bella to outline a circle around these dots. You also want to add in a horizontal line, which is going to create a planet design. Going back in with the Vita Bella white gel paint, I'm going to go ahead and draw on his three eyes. Taking the black gel paint now, I'm going to go ahead and add in his mouth and the pupils. I did try to go back with the green gel polish color to add in some eyelids, and you can't really see it at all, so that was kind of pointless of me, but that is basically the finished ring fingernail. I am going to go ahead and top coat this one as well. Here are the nails so far. At this point, I was six hours into the nail art. Woody took three hours by himself. <laughs> So let's go ahead and move on to the pinky nail. So for the pinky, I am taking white out and just green, and I'm going to be mixing these two polishes together to get a lighter shade of green. For the pinky, I am doing Rex, which is the toy dinosaur. I feel like drawing Rex was actually pretty difficult for me because I'm not the kind of person that sits and draws like dinosaurs and other types of things. I basically just draw like cartoon characters. 
So this one is actually a lot more difficult than you would think for me. I feel like it turned out okay because you can tell who this is and what character it is, but it just was very difficult for me to do. As you guys can see, I am just doing the base of the character, so I'm kind of just drawing a silhouette of the character in the pose from the reference photo. When I did mix the gels, I did kind of like gradually mix the colors together to get like different shades of green. So I'm taking a slightly lighter shade. This is still not the pure just green gel polish color. This does still have a little bit of the white polish mixed in. I'm going ahead and adding some of the lighter shadows on the character. I will be going back in with a darker shade of green to add even more depth but this is just kind of the base of the shadows. I of course went in with my Slim Shady brush to go ahead and start blending out the shadows. After doing that layer, I felt like it didn't give the nail much shadow at all, so I did take the Lights Out gel polish from Nails by Dev and mixed in a little bit of the Just Green color to get a very dark shade of green, and I'm just using this color to enforce all of those shadows and give it a lot more depth. At this point, I was getting very nervous because I felt like the proportions were a little bit off at this point. I really thought that I was going to be wasting my time doing all of this because it was just looking very off to me. After curing all of the shadows, I am going back with the color Bear It All and I'm going to add this in the center of his chest. When I'm applying this color, I am just doing like little horizontal lines going across the stomach and chest area. This is to kind of give it a little bit of texture. This part does not have to be perfect because whenever you look at the reference photo, this area is not a solid color. It is kind of blended in a little bit with the texture of the toy. So I am trying to mimic that a little bit. The edges were a little bit rough, so I am taking the Slim Shady just to try to blend that out a little bit. At this point, I did start having a little bit more hope in how this nail design was turning out. I feel like it was starting to look a little bit more like the photo. Going back with the Vita Bella white gel paint, I am going to go ahead and do his eyes and teeth. For the eyes, they are extremely tiny. I am not used to drawing eyes this small. I was a little bit worried if I was going to be able to fit a pupil in them, but they did turn out okay. His teeth are very tiny and I feel like I probably should have made the face a little bit bigger just to be able to get all of those tiny details in. I really should have switched over to the micro detailer brush, but as you guys may know, I kind of get a little bit lazy when it comes to switching out my brushes, so I tend to kind of do the entire nail design with one or two brushes. This brush is still really good for very small details because of how thin the brush is, but using the micro detailer might have been a little bit easier because of the length of the brush. Next, I'm taking the black gel paint and a dotting tool to add in his pupils. I'm going ahead with the black shading gel just to add some texture to the character. Whenever you look at the reference photos of Rex, he does have a like scaly texture, of course, because he is a dinosaur. So my thought process for this was to use the shading gel just because this is a transparent color. It's not going to be overwhelming for the nail design. And I was going to sit and draw out all of those very, very, very tiny circles to create the texture of his skin. But after getting ready to start the process of drawing out the texture, I realized that was kind of going to be a little bit impossible for me because of the size. So I kind of just took my liner brush and started dotting on the color. I feel like it was adding a very strange look to the character. So to try to make this look more like his skin texture, I did take the Slim Shady brush with a tiny, tiny bit of rubbing alcohol to try to separate the color. Now I'm going in with the Nails by Devs highlight gel just to add a little bit of highlights to the character. In basically all of the reference photos, you can see a little bit of shine to this character and that is because he is made from plastic which is a little bit shiny. At this point, I just looked at the character and I was like, this is the best that I can do for Rex and I just went ahead and cured it and we're going to finalize that with the gel top coat. I feel like I might could do a little bit better if I practiced with drawing characters like this more often, but that is the pinky. 
For the thumbnail, I am going to be doing Forky. Forky is from the fourth Toy Story movie, so I am using the white gel paint for this, and I'm just starting out by drawing a U in the middle of the nail. You just want to draw a line going down from the center, and this is the handle portion of the spork. After that, you just want to draw some points at the top in the center for the fork portion of the spoon, and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Taking the gel polish color just red, I am going to go ahead and draw out the eyebrow. This is a unibrow, so it's basically just one line. Do make sure the edges of this line are very rounded. I'm also going to be using this color to draw out the arms. Forky's arms are made from a pipe cleaner, which is just wrapped around the handle portion of the spork. The ends of the arms for his hand is just kind of like looped around and he does have three fingers for his hands. I did go in with the color Be My Lover for the mouth. The mouth is kind of sideways on the fork and I think that's really cute. The mouth is very easy to do. It's kind of like a half moon shape with a line connecting the ends. If at any point I do mess up my nail art, I just take the Slim Shady brush or something very similar to clean up the mistakes. Do make sure to round out the edges of the mouth as well. Then taking a dotting tool and the Vita Bella black gel paint, I am going to go ahead and do the eyes. Forky has googly eyes and the center of them is just pure black and one is bigger than the other one. Now taking Nails by Dev's Clear Trippy Gel, I am going to be using this to add some 3D aspect to this nail design. I felt like just looking at it like this, it did not have any detail in it compared to the other nails. So I just rolled some of this up into a hot dog shape and I'm going to be placing this over the eyebrow area. Once I place the gel down, I am taking my silicone sculpting tool just to sculpt out the gel on the nail. I quickly realized that I put way too much, so I'm just going to rip some of that in half. For this part of the nail design, I did want it to be pretty 3D and rounded. I did not want to smash it down so much that you can barely tell that it's there. I'm going to repeat the same process for the mouth as well. The mouth was probably the hardest part of doing this step because it's quite small compared to how thick I was making the 3D gel stick out. I did end up getting it how I wanted, but I did have to play with it off camera for a while. That is one thing I really love about this gel, you have as long as you need to make it exactly how you want. For the eyes, I just took a little ball of the gel and I placed this over top of the pupil area and I'm just going to smash that down. Like I said, for the pupil area, one of the googly eyes are bigger than the other one, so do keep that in mind whenever you're sculpting this out. And of course, the last thing I'm going to be making 3D is his arms. Once I've cured all of the gel in place, I am going to go ahead and top coat over top of all of this. I typically don't top coat my trippy gel because it does take away from the 3D aspect and detail that you put in. But for this nail, I did want the top coat to kind of wrap around the 3D gel that I've sculpted out. I did go ahead and cure and here is all of the press-ons. I am so obsessed with how this nail design turned out. I think it looks absolutely amazing. The background color is a little bit boring for the nail set, but I really love all of the details in this character nail design. This hand of press-ons did end up taking me 8 hours to complete and I do think it was definitely worth it. I kind of feel like I should have done a different character instead of Forky because it doesn't quite flow with the character detail designs but it does kind of match the other hand that I'll be doing next. Like I said, this is part one of a two-part Toy Story nail series, so do make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss out on the next Toy Story nail design. I haven't really told you guys yet, but this video is more like character and a little bit more detailed nail art, and part two is going to be 3D character designs, so I'm super excited to show you guys that one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.